Do you want to get ready for bed with me? Well, today is your lucky day. So I start out by entering the bathroom and a la Bruce Almighty, I like to strip off just like so. I usually put a robe on. I, I swear I love these Piyamako robes. They're made in Bali and um, I just love them because they're so comfy. About now is when I like to cry to myself over the fact that I have to take my makeup off. I love my makeup and it's devastating to take your makeup off. Clean that shit off. Yes. Windex! Now I'm just getting my skincare out and ready. This is what it all looks like. I use Dr. Spiller and um, Ulla Henriksen. Before I cleanse though, I use a micellar water or a product of that nature to take my makeup off. I'm sad again, look at me. <laughs> so I don't really dig micellar waters for cleansing, so I just use it to get the bulk of the makeup off and then throw that dirty pad in the bin. And I missed. Um, so moving on, now I'm taking my rings off because I just hate getting cleanser on them and I keep them in that little shell there. Tying my hair up in more of a bun so that it doesn't get in my face while I'm cleansing. Normally guys, I would move into the shower for this, but I just didn't want to risk freeing the nipple in a YouTube video and getting it taken down. So I am going to get in the shower later, but first I'm going to show you how I cleanse. Now I'm working with Clarisonic to show you the new Clarisonic Mia Fit. I have the original and the Mia and I always use them. So this is the newest one to fit in with your busy lifestyle. As you can see it's much more portable, easy to take to the gym, to your girlfriend's house, boyfriend's house, overseas trips, and it sits upright like that by itself, which I think is really awesome. Um, also something that I love that I wasn't going to mention but I am, it's got a USB power cord so I don't have to worry while traveling about using an adapter. Do you know what I mean Jelly Bean? So now I've rinsed my face, I would normally do that in the shower as I said and I'm applying my foaming milk cleanser from Ulla Henriksen. I use this to get rid of the rest of the makeup so I use the Mia Fit on the delicate setting which is the first setting to dislodge all of the impurities, all the extra makeup remove sweat, sunscreen, uh, long wear makeup, all of that kind of thing. Um, this product cleanses skin six times better than just your hands. So it is really important to me that I use my Clarisonic uh, with every face cleanse. Pat dry before I move on to the next stage of cleansing for me, the second cleanse, which is when I use my actual skincare. So this is like an oil-based skincare, it's called Dr. Spiller. I did talk about it in my skincare routine, so make sure you go watch that. I'll try link it below. Um, then I use my Mia Fit again, but right about now, Funk's old brother, I'm going to put it on the second setting, which is the power cleanse, and I use that over my kind of more troubling areas where there are larger pores like my nose, my forehead, my chin, just to dislodge all that extra dirt and grime that I kind of get in there. It's got a radiance brush head which has very velvety soft bristles which give a gentle cleanse and help improve my skin's texture and remove dullness. After every use of my Clarisonic I just take a, like a regular hand soap and use that to cleanse the bristles so that it's ready for next time. And then you can just put the lid back on and as I said my favorite thing about this is that it's got a flat base and it's so small. So now I'm just rinsing my face completely and then I'm going to pat dry with a towel. But as I said this was usually what I do in the shower. I don't normally do it at the sink. Yeah. Skin so fresh, so clean. I love it. Now I'm moving on into the shower and I'm washing my hair. I'll put all the products that I used below. but um. I am not going to promote this shampoo and conditioner because I don't actually think it's amazing. It was by Tiki. I'll put it below. It's very weird having a massive camera set up while you're showering. Can I just say that? And I'm not going to pretend like I was wearing a bikini because I was actually having a shower here. <laughs> I'm naked here. Let's just get that out of the way. Now I'm putting conditioner in. It's so weird to see yourself in the shower. I can't even tell you. <laughs> I don't know what soap this is, but I like to wash my body with soap. Oops. Ah, you can see my Clarisonic there that I use for my body. Don't drop the soap. <laughs> and then once I've washed off all the soap, I use my massage bars from Lush. I apply it in the same way as I apply soap. I absolutely know that it's supposed to be applied dry, but when I first got it, I was sent it and I thought it was soap, so I used it as soap and I was like, ah. Oh, well, oh well, this works really well as a moisturizer. Even though I looked it up and I found out you're meant to use it dry, 
Um, it is so good in the shower because the hot water kind of melts it on the skin and then you can blend it out and it's just so much easier than applying an oil in the shower or after. Now we're out and we're going to move on to the rest of my skincare and my hair care. Now I do brush or comb out my hair. This brush has really stiff bristles so I feel like it does kind of the same thing as a comb. Maybe I should get like a wide tooth comb. Anyway, now this is... Um, it's a Goldwell product. It's like a leave-in conditioner or detangler type product. I'll list everything below. But I spray that on really liberally. It makes my hair so soft and silky and really easy to brush out or comb out. And I always start at the end so that I don't tear my hair. And it's just it just glides through when I put product in it. So now I'm also using an oil treatment. This is like a keratin oil treatment and I totally missed the mark there with that squeeze but I'm applying it into the ends of my hair and then blending up closer toward my scalp but I don't really put this in my scalp and now onto my skincare I'm taking a cotton pad and my toner this is actually called I believe it's called the aloe tonic from Dr. Spiller my whole skincare is basically Dr. Spiller bar a couple of things so I love the toner because it kind of just refreshes my skin after all that cleansing and puts a bit more hydration in there, gets it ready for the rest of my skincare. I've been using this, this is the Good Jeans from Sunday Riley and I really like it because it kind of seems to dislodge dry skin and um, it's got a really nice feeling to the skin when I apply it. Normally I just stick to all Dr. Spiller stuff but I've been trying that and I actually really like it. Now I'm going to use my collagen cream from Dr. Spiller, this blue cream. It is the most beautiful, rich, oil-based um, moisturizer ever. I love this stuff and I pat it in. My facialist tells me that patting helps more to melt it into the skin so I don't rub anymore. I've also got an eye cream because I'm paranoid about wrinkles around my eyes. So I use the Dr. Spiller, I believe it's the eye contour cream. And I just put a little bit under my eye. I try to be quite delicate with that and not rub too hard. People always say that I'm really rough with my face, so I've been a bit conscious of that. Alright, skincare all done. Pajamas on. And now I'm going to brush my teeth. Oh my god, I almost forgot to brush my teeth for the video. Of course, I brush my teeth. I still use my Colgate. What do you call Oh my god, Optic White Express Light. How could I forget that? I feel like I said that a million times when I was in the commercial last year. How could I forget the name? And I think that's actually an Oral-B brush, so... This is my room. I'm walking into my room, as you can see. This is my room. Welcome. That's what I said. So I've got my um, computer and phone with me. I'm walking a bit weird because I was in a motorcycle accident on the weekend. Forgive me. And I'm just hopping in bed. I love to sit in bed and do like a couple of emails, check my social media, check what I've got to do tomorrow because I keep like a diary in my phone and I keep it up to date and I put um, reminders and stuff in my phone so I'll probably sit there with the light on, my water, um, I'll put some moisturizer on my hands, this is hand cream, I put it on my hands and feet and then Malin and Goats, Malin and Goats, I don't know exactly how to say it, uh, lip balm is like the best lip balm ever, you can get it from Mecca Cosmetica. Um, it's so good and yeah the hand cream this is a Palmer's cocoa butter hand cream it's like a salve it's like a really strong one put it on my hands and my feet before bed and also normally can I just say there's usually like three glasses next to my bed because I'm so lazy I'm the kind of person that never takes the glasses back to the sink mom used to hate it but um, I always have a water next to the bed and I drink water from a straw because it makes me drink more <laughs> Now I'm setting my alarm. Normally I wake up about 7.30 a.m. or 7 a.m. So I set my alarm for 7 a.m. and pop it next to the bed and I turn the light off. Pop the big pillows out of the way. I like really soft fluffy pillows. I don't like hard pillows or latex pillows. I've got that another little shell there. And can I just say I sleep so soundly knowing that no one can shave my eyebrows off because I've got them tattooed on. Hallelujah for that. That's it from me guys. I'm out now. I hope you enjoyed my get ready for bed with me and don't forget to subscribe.